2023, Nigerians will reject PDP. They don't want to return to Egypt, La Mohammed. <laughs> La Mohammed claimed that the opposition was trying to trigger another NSAS protest in the country. <laughs> you know, sometimes the way these our leaders talk, it will look like as if they are not in Nigeria. Honestly speaking, every average Nigerian right now is praying for APC to pass over them. Now, <laughs> Lam Mohammed is saying that Nigerians will reject PDP. People are saying, Nigerians are saying that APC should take them back to Good Luck Jonathan's era <laughs> for you to know, say, the matter a bad way, way. In fact, it's worse. The matter worse. If you live in Nigeria, you should know what I'm talking about. These people, they keep on blaming, blaming this, blaming that, instead of facing uh, the facts. And this is the reason why they are not achieving any positive re re results. Because instead of them to face the facts that they have failed, and for them to, you know, uh, correct themselves, no. It's better for them to keep on blaming people, blaming the opposition, blaming COVID-19 for their failures and mistakes. Anyway, guys, let's quickly get straight to the news. Well, if you are here for the first time, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. God bless you. The Minister of Information and Culture, La Mohammed, has accused the opposition parties of plans to sabotage the administration of President Mohamed Buhari and overheat the pol uh, polity. Mohamed claimed that the opposition was trying to trigger another anxious protest in the country. <laughs> These people, they came through protest, but they have rejected protest. If you protest in this country, in fact, you are a criminal. That is how APC government have made it. Because they are afraid. They don't want people to talk. They don't want people to exercise their rights. They are failure already. He also faulted attempts by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to declare the National Convention of the All Progressive Congress, APC, illegal. The PDP had prayed the Federal High Court, Abuja, to declare the planned exercise all constitutional and illegal. The party in a suit marks FHC slash ABJ slash C has slash 389 2022 has sought a court's order this the registering the APC as a political party having failed to meet the requirements of session 222A in bracket 223B in bracket and 225 of the national constitution reacting Mohammed said as you know the, the folks on the other side have been doing everything in recent times to overheat the pol polity. This starts the achievement of our administration and spread misinformation. Yes, it is very cold out there for the hungry and the desperate opposition, but very indication is that they don't even want to wait for the 2023 elections before testing their popularity or acceptability at the polls. How else does one explain their court case seeking the declaration of our convention as illegal, they ask. How do you explain their hate of another answer that pushed Nigeria to the brink? How do you explain their glaring misinformation regarding the nation state of affairs? Gentlemen, there is nothing wrong in having a fair and viable opposition in a democracy. We, we were there before and we remain the ones to be it in terms of a determined, viable and relentless opposition. But in our time, not once did we advocate the destruction of Nigeria, but because we could not have our way. But once did we seek to gain power 
a, a desperate court action. If you destroy the country you are seeking to govern, what country will you govern? Must you cut your nose to speak to your face? In this most recent act of desperation, they sought to erase 70 years of unprecedented achievement by the Muhammad Buhari administration in the most egregious show of shameless and a blunted refusal to be remorseful. They even had the audacity to express righteous indignation that the damage they inflicted on the country in their 16 years of misrule has not been totally undone in just seven years. In other ways, those who brought the country to its knees are now accusing those working hard to repair things of non-performance. They said they are ready to rescue Nigeria. Pray, where do kidnappers rescue their victims? These same guys who kidnapped the victims of their country are suddenly posing as rescuers. Emperor, buyers beware, Nigerians beware, we are not under any illusion that they will stop their misrepresentation. No, because in their desperation to return to complete their demolition work on Nigeria, these folks will stop at nothing to paint us bad. But the good news is that Nigerians remain traumatized by their 16 years misrule, and we will not return to Egypt by allowing the demolition gang back to office. In the meantime, let them present their 16 years stewardship in all the areas we have listed above and let Nigerians charge. Hmm. Is that okay? What is the problem with this man? Must he make public statement? Why is Nigerians politicians does not have shun? Look at what APC administration has turned Nigeria nation to, for God's sake. The lives of the damn true population of Nigerians we are better or better off under PDP administration. Hmm, someone just dropped that. You know I said it before now that these people they talk like they live in the moon. Honestly, Nigerians are crying for this APC to take them back to President Moha, President Gulag Jonathan's era because Nigerians are really suffering in the hands of this APC administration. If you date Nigeria, this thing when they talk, you go, you go, they stand them. Same people, they hungry. Now, everything in the market has gone really very high. Not be said the Nigerian government or can I say federal government, you know, increased salary for civil servant too. Their salary still remain within a P. You get. But right now you can't buy anything in the market. Those who are still staying in a, um, in a rented apartment, they are not finding it easy. The situation whereby you will receive salary, your salary is not even enough to feed your family for two weeks. And we are talking about paying rent. Nigerians are not smiling, you no. Know. Our politicians, they should understand this. Our leaders, they should understand this because the way these people talk shows you that they are not actually telling President Muhammad Buhari the true situation that, you know, we have in this country. Anyway, guys, I'm going to drop it here. Kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section. Don't forget. To